Top story tonight, two drownings in less than 24 hours has lake and river goers in El Dorado County on high alert. Officials say a 19 year old man drowned at a lake in Sly Park Monday afternoon. Yesterday, a man in his 60s was dragged under the American River by a submerged tree. Thanks for joining us tonight for Fox 40 News at 10. I'm Nikki Lorenzo and I'm Eric Rucker in tonight for Eric Harriman. The El Dorado County Sheriff's Office is, of course, warning people to be very careful out on the water. Fox 40's Mason Morrow visited those local waterways tonight and shares how people are reacting. This is normally a cold family lake, Jenkinson Lake, out here at Sly Park in El Dorado County, but this year I'm told it is deceptively dangerous. Fire officials say this water is freezing and even the strongest of swimmers can only last so long before the cold overtakes them. He may have been swimming from one um, beach area to another um, and then um, just simply could not continue swimming. Fire Captain Jacob Pagansky with El Dorado County Fire Protection District dissecting how a 19 year old man drowned swimming in this recreational lake. This year it's particularly colder than it's been in the past, um, so it's um, not unreasonable to think that that might have played a factor. Rescue crews were called to Jenkinson Lake after four o'clock on Monday afternoon for a man who went under the water about 40 yards from an island shoreline. Around 10.30 the next morning, fire officials say a diving team recovered the body of Carmichael man Mackay Clay. I wouldn't believe wow. you if if there hadn't. Katie McKee couldn't hide the shock from her face once Fox 40 broke the news to her on Wednesday night. The mother of three now hesitant to let her young kids in the lake water, even with life vests on and strapped. With how much water danger there is, you turn your back, kids can drown in less than 10 seconds. Um, I'm starting to think I just might just let him dip his toes in and that's about it. Three hours after Clay was found underwater, a man in his 60s was pulled from the American River, according to fire officials. Around 1.15 Tuesday afternoon, first responders found the man caught in a submerged tree near Henningsen Lotus Park after his raft flipped over in the water. They used a knife to remove the boat from around him and then formed a human chain in order to uh, pull him out of the water. The river rapids at the South Fork are high and they're swift thanks to strong dam releases, dragging debris underwater that's not visible to rafters. Within the river itself, there are often uh, entrapment hazards. Some of those can be as simple as just rocks that are within the river where you can catch your foot in. River features like strainers um, uh, that are caused by uh, trees or other objects that are that are in um, and around the, the river itself. And it was unfortunately one of those strainers that caught that man and even the resuscitation efforts were done there on this scene. He unfortunately did not make it, but fire officials do say there were two other women on that raft who made it to shore safely, which is a good sign. And fire officials do say if you're going to be on the river rapids this summer season, make sure you go ahead and actually hire a river guide who knows the water better than anyone and can make sure you have fun but you're safe while you're doing it. Reporting in El Dorado County, covering local news that matters, I'm Mason Morrow, Fox 40 News.